Hi guys, this is week 19 of Project Life and this week I'm going to be using three of the brand new stamps from the latest Kelly stamps release. I've got the Kings Park Alpha Perfectly Imperfect and Coffee Loading because those three all seem to sum up my week pretty perfectly. Now it's sort of turning into this time of year, um, there's less light, the photos are all getting a tiny bit darker, <laughs> um, I don't enjoy that so I kind of struggled with what papers to use this week. Um, I am purposefully when I take photos trying to make them as sort of light and bright as possible but as you can see there's that really sort of autumnal feeling to these photos, lots of rusty browns and reds um, and they're definitely not my favorite sort of colors to work with. So I grabbed out the Along the Way pad from Jen Hadfield um, and I'm just playing around with some of the papers in there. There's some really nice gold foil papers in there so I did pull out uh, a couple of those to use. I feel like the gold sort of works nicely with those sort of darker autumnal colors. Uh, and as I was playing with the papers for the the spread, I kind of had an idea for my title cards that's basically going to be the first thing I end up working on rather than risk forgetting that later on. So I'm going to repeat some of the papers that I've used uh, in lieu of cards uh, and I'm just cutting little strips of them for that top title card there, stacking them up and then I'm still sort of rearranging how everything else is going to look. So I'm sort of happy with it but I've got one blank 3x4 space that I just I couldn't find anything in the paper pad that worked um, and there was kind of that teal color pops of color up in the top right hand photo so I figured I'd grab out some of my 3x4 pre-cut cards there and find a teal that sort of matched it doesn't match perfectly but it does just add that little bit of extra color in there and I feel like it sort of stops the page being too themey color wise otherwise it is looking very like blue and red um, which I want to sort of break up a little bit so that that did that did break it up now for my title card I've like glued down those strips of paper with the gold on top obviously because I really want that gold to match the bottom there and I'm going to use the Kings Park Alpha to just stamp out my title. I love this alpha. It's really cool having those little blocky letters but also I love it because it has numbers uh, so I can use just one stamp set to do my title card this week. Um, I went and dug through my stash to find a label that would sort of break up that blue and gold um, and also give me somewhere to stamp my date stamp otherwise I'm not being too particular about having labels this year but um, this card's kind of busy and I needed a base to put that uh, date stamp there. So I've stamped out my title and I can't even tell you how bummed I was <laughs> that I managed to stuff up stamping that first E. Um, it didn't bother me enough to redo the card, but it does bother me. I'll let you know that. Stamped my date stamp and add the little heart and it's quite cool to have my title card done at the start of a spread rather than getting to the end of it and going, oh, what am I going to do? Uh, I knew exactly what I was going to do for this photo, however, so this was not a problem. As soon as I saw the blah 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 coffee stamp, uh, I knew it would look awesome stamped along the bottom of this photo here. My new Nespresso order arrived and yeah, everything else is blah 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 until I've had my coffee. So that memento, no sorry it's not memento, it's Brilliance Moonlight White Ink just stamps so nicely on those photos. I print at home on a Canon um, Pixar? Pixma? you know what I mean, print it, um, and on Canon Photo Glossy 2 paper um, which takes just about any sort of ink that you can think of uh, and the Brilliance Moonlight White just looks so fun and I kind of like how it carries on the stripe along the bottom um, from the title card too which was accidental but I still love how it looks. I've just gone through uh, the Perfectly Imperfect set and pulled out a few stamps that I think I might want to use. Uh, and then I went and dug through my stash and found this Tim Holtz tiny word 
add things so you'll see me going through these a lot the spread the whole spread's super simple it's just stamps and tiny words but um there are a lot of tiny word stickers on this set so it does take me a while to dig through them and find the appropriate one for each photo so i started with that selfie photo and i just stamped the stamp off the edge of the photo and then added a tiny word and that took me ages so I decided to start batch working um, I pulled out three of the photos I want to do next so that as I'm going through my pad of tiny word stickers there I can find more than one at a time it was my attempt to try and speed things up a little bit uh, and it did it did sort of work so I've got some stamping I want to do on my autumn leaves photo. The photo of Lily is just going to get those tiny words. Um, and I've pulled out some tiny words for the photo of my new silhouette machine, but I'm not convinced that that's the card I want to put them on. So I haven't stuck them down yet. I've just left them for now. I'm going to come back to it. First, I am going to finish stamping um, with that same Alva stamp, uh, this time with the Memento Tuxedo Black. Uh, to finish off my sentiment, autumn is here. This week, autumn well and truly arrived. Um, the leaves started turning. In fact, they turned within the week, so it was a tiny bit depressing, I must say. Uh, let that shit go. Not from stress, but we sold a car, so it still kind of works, even though it's not uh, in any way, shape or form about mental health. And here is where I decide what I'm going to do with this card here. There was this really pretty leaf fern sort of stamp on the Perfectly Imperfect set. And I decided to create my own patterned card. So I just wanted, I didn't have a, I didn't want the ink to be too overly teal. So I grabbed this kind of sandy colored um, ink to stamp the pattern with. It just tones down that brightness of the teal a little bit and I really like how that turned out. It was definitely what I was after because I felt like that really bright teal card kind of stuck out like a sore thumb on that page. So I can re-stick my photo down and then add the tiny words and that is all done there. And I've really only got this one card left to go. So I pulled out the, it's called Balance Stamp because it's my cat Mal just perched on the arm of a chair. It's one of her favorite places to sit. I can't see how it's comfortable to be honest to uh, balance on such a tiny little spot all day, but that's what she does. So I thought this stamp worked really nicely with it. I stamped it once and I didn't like how lonely it looked so I'm kind of gonna go for that same across the card look as the coffee stamp that I did so I'm offsetting the stamp so it's not um, in one row like this and it does mean I need to do some partial uh, partial inking sorry on the top and the bottom so that it doesn't fall off the edge of the card but I actually really love how that looks and that it echoes that same um, technique along the top just pulls the whole thing together nicely. And that is this page all done. These stamps are available in the shop right now, so I will leave the link down below for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, don't forget to check out my Patreon page. There are even more videos over there. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!